After taking yet another humiliating legal loss, Donald Trump's apparently former attorney, Alina Haba, appeared on Fox News and was interviewed by Sean Hannity. And you really have to see this to believe it. It shows us the core rot that has taken place within MAGA world. And I want to remind folks when we wonder what's at stake in November, there are so many different ways that we can continue to have this conversation. Remember, as you watch this, that there were people suggesting Alina Haba, if Trump wins, will have a prominent role in his administration. I, I feel insane saying this because how backwards is the world? It has been mentioned that she could potentially be <laughs> the attorney general of the United States. OK, Th this is what is at stake in November. And tomorrow we'll be talking to Jenk Uger about what's at stake in November. Just remember, there are those floating Alina Haba for secretary of state. She I mean, listen, how do you even introduce this stuff? There is a point and I want to say something that I different than I normally do. We have the order now. I'm free to speak. And let me just say, as somebody who sat there in the trial, Sean, and I'm so happy you invited me on to say this. They will not get away with it. We will come at them. We will come hard and Whoa. we will literally fight until the truth comes out. There was nothing wrong. President Trump has done nothing wrong. All he has done is one, a campaign, and that is scaring them because they know when he goes back in November 2024, he is going to clean house. And that is truly the problem. It's not about Marilago's Mar worth. It's not worth 18 million. It's worth probably 1.5 billion at the least. It is not worth Trump Tower, 40 Wall Street. That's not what this is about, Sean. You know it and I know it. And she is insisting that her client did absolutely nothing wrong. She's almost acting like she won. This interview felt more like the sort of interview a lawyer would do after your client is vindicated. She has cost Trump how much money now? I mean, it's absolutely wild. Sean Hannity says, all right, well, Alina, what's the strategy now going forward? And she spits out a word salad. Tell us what your strategy is going forward, Alina. It's very simple. The left wing media, unfortunately, <laughs> will report cases. I had another case that just went through in New York, the great state of New York, which has completely fallen apart. My strategy is to use the facts, to use the transcripts. We make a record, even when they try and gag us, even when they try and tell us, Alina, I'm going to put you in jail if you object to a PowerPoint slide that proves your case. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I By the way, that didn't happen. Object anyway. We made a record and the record is clear because their orders are transparent. Right. They show a completely biased transcript. They show that the hearings, the law is not on their side. So they get their headline during an election season. But that is not going to be how we win. I want you to remember that the question was, what's your strategy? The first 48 seconds, she gave us a list of stuff which she now says that's not going to be how we win. So I'm guessing now she'll tell us what she will do here. We have to fight the fight for the long run. And that that truly is, Sean, my strategy. That's all of our strategy. We will use the transcript. We will use the evidence. We will use the witnesses, the real facts, not the media. And and it's no no disrespect to the media, but I was there. We did nothing wrong. Those there you go. Um, echoing Trump, we did nothing wrong. So if you're confused as to what her strategy is going to be now, I am just as confused. And it seems that this is all kind of alluding to appeal. Trump insists that he's going to win on appeal. There is a reality here, which is that in order to get to an appeal, Donald Trump in each of these different cases, E. Jean Carroll in the New York fraud case, is going to have to put up at least some of that verdict money in order to be allowed to appeal. We'll maybe look at those details tomorrow. Alina Haba pointing out that Letitia James had her shoes off in court, and that was really offensive to her. I don't even know if that's true, to be honest. Maybe it is. Maybe it is. We had Miss James had her shoes off in court. Let's not forget that. I called right. it out in the closing argument, but it's true. She had a Starbucks coffee in her hand. She wasn't doing work. She wasn't sitting at the council table. She was in the back with her shoes off and a coffee. And at the end of the day, we're sitting there looking at this going, this is the state of our country. AGs are so comfortable in court that they know that they don't even have to do the job. They don't have to do the work. They're going to let their people do it. They're going to sit there and they're going to win. 
That's a problem. Yeah. So we're going to go up to the next level. We're going to go to people that aren't running on a campaign, running to get Trump before they're even in office, and we will win. That's how we have. All right. So I'm still confused as to what she's going to do. And then lastly, she's continuing the routine of describing Trump's middle aged children as children. And uh, I they're actually older than she is. And she's essentially acting like these are just kids. We did nothing wrong. Those statements of financial condition, Sean, were undervalued. We did absolutely nothing wrong. Imagine you're dragging children through this. That's the desperation we're at. Alan Weisselberg, Jeff McConney, people that did their jobs and did nothing wrong. And that is how desperate they are because they're going to lose. We have a person who literally cannot walk up the <laughs> stairs. The children, they're dragging children, by the way. The children are 40 and 46 years old and are executives of the company that was engaged in the fraud. This framing that they found an 11 year old and they're dragging the 11 year old through the mud. These are adult executives involved in multi million, if not multi hundred million dollar decisions. And they're older than she is at the end of the day. But it's just kid stuff. If this is the strategy for appeal, which, by the way, I don't even understand what the strategy is. These appeals are not going to go well.